on there. And I was what? What, bro? What the hell? While visiting Indiana, my friend James and I decided to explore a set of stairs that no one dares to climb at midnight, and for good reason. According to legend, if you go up the stairs at midnight during a moonless night and count each step, which is usually a hundred, once you have reached the top of the stairs, an apparition of the first undertaker will appear and show you a vision of your death. Now if that alone doesn't scare you to death, when you go back down the steps, if you get a different number, you will die the same way the vision was shown to you by the ghost. Now if you go down and get the same number of steps, the vision of death will never happen. If you try to go around the stairs, avoiding it, to get up the hill, you will get pushed by an unseen force. Some have claimed this to be true, and in some cases, a red handprint has been seen on people's bodies following these sinister attacks, calling it the mark of the devil himself. So we're here. Well, just a second ago, we pulled up and I seen something in white just kind of looking at me in the woods. At first, it looked like a person, like in white, like right over there. Dude, we ain't got our cameras out yet, and we're already seeing stuff. We ain't even out the car yet. No, I know. Oh, Bro, look, look at it out here, man. What the hell? I told you. What, what the hell is this place? Bro, like I said, last time I came here with Davros, we got here and before we even started walking up, we seen a shadow, I believe it was down that way. The cemetery that we're getting ready to go to is surrounded by a couple different legends. The most popular is that if you walk up these stairs and count the steps, and it has to be at midnight on a moonless, not, not a full moon, but a moonless night, that at the top of the stairs, will appear the undertaker oh, there's no moon tonight either and it's almost no. midnight no moon we did not plan this guess how many crazy mofos oh. do what we do at mi i didn't even know the whole thing about midnight till we looked it up right before we got here i was told that there's no traffic on this road i found it quite peculiar that the moment we got there the same car kept circling going back and forth maybe someone afraid that we were up to no good i don't know what it was but we do have to be careful in case we're in danger. Yeah, they moving, bro. I'm like, I'm gonna get out of here. Are you actually doing this? 15, yeah. Oh, sh <laughs> All right, be careful. If you decide to skip the stairs and go up the hill, you will be pushed down by a phantom hand and be marked for several days. James did have a head start on us. He's way back there. He didn't really tell me he saw anything, but it is midnight now, so we're gonna go ahead and count these steps. So one, two, three, four, five. 45. So James was right. He got stuck up here and he asked me to come up and he took off. What if he got it wrong? 46, 47, 86, 87. This is not 100 steps. I'm not done yet. They say that if you get the wrong amount of steps going up without any question at all, you will be pushed down the steps. I'm at 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95. Bro, I got 96. 96? I think we both messed up. I said open field. Oh, is this the open field? Maybe the open field's over here. Right? It's dark out. We both got, got it wrong. I didn't count those flat parts. Oh, I did. I counted as a step. Well, I guess that doesn't make sense because there was two of them, so both of us is uh, not. So if you count these flat parts, see 95, 96, 97, 98. Yeah. It's still off. off. Were you talking throughout? Well, not, not really. I was trying not to. <laughs> I think you messed up, bro. 
Now a lot of these graves, they say, date back to the 1860s. We do want to test out a little bit more of that urban legend. Is that a person? Let me know if you see anything. I'll tell you what, about six, seven years ago, you'd never catch me at a cemetery at night. It's one of my biggest fears ever. Once I conquered that fear, I became fearless when it comes to a lot of other things. I'm not trying to say I'm not scared though. What's back here? James is way over there. There's only one other cemetery that gave me the creeps the way this one does right now. And it was the one in Connecticut, also known as Bathsheba, which was the witch of the conjuring, the real witch. She actually has a final resting place. There's this car that keeps going back and forth. That's the same exact car. What is he doing? Should we leave, bro? You got your packing, right? Yeah, but I mean, why does that car keep coming around? It keeps going over there, turning around like right away. If it turns back around, yeah, if it turns around. I will say this, it is cold Dude, as crap out here. Yeah, it is, bro. Bro, my third battery died since I've been here. It's like the, the air or the cold air or something is just killing my batteries. This is my last one. I'm thinking that whatever, whatever is here got to you first because you were first. Oh, great. Now, this is something that I did read about online that people have come here and graffitied on some of the headstones and vandalized some of them and you, know, you can see that right there so disrespectful you want to well, like walk down the hill and see if something happens not really but okay you walk on one side i'll walk oh, on the other yeah so i was thinking okay you know when we pulled up we weren't recording it sounded like there was like a, i heard it twice it was like a man like shouting wasn't screaming, but he was shouting. You didn't feel any forces or anything? Uh, no, I just get a creepy vibe. You're about to go right over some headstones, so be careful. No, I'm going right through them. Okay. okay, yeah, there you go. That one's vandalized too. Really? Yeah. Maybe that's why that guy keeps coming by, making sure we're not vandalizing. Anything. Yeah, we're not here to vandalize. Dude, look, there's another one right there. That's terrible. It's a lot out here. Well, I haven't seen any graffiti. Number 96. <laughs> hey, so do you want to try to count again, or do you want to try to go up the side of the hill now? Oh, you want to do that? Um, right, we could go up the sides. Okay, so we went down, down the side. There's nothing saying anything about going down the hill. It's usually going up the hill, like if you're trying to avoid the steps. Sure, we're just not like pressing our luck, bro. Going up again? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Wait, are we going up the stairs or up the hill? Up the hill, I thought. And then we can count the steps on the way back down if we want. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, we're gonna we'll do the opposite. We did. We're gonna try time. a couple different yeah. parts of the legend. Your battery's dying again. Bro, this is my last battery. No, I got another camera you can use. No, I'm switching over to my phone. You're gonna switch to your phone? I got to. But my phone's good quality too. All right, be careful. I'm actually going to use a little bit dimmer light. Don't get pushed. Whoa. 
just lost my footing. I feel like something's watching you. Yeah. We'll say I feel like animals are watching me. Oh. Bro, you heard that? I don't think he heard anything. I think I know why people slip here. Because I see little ice particles. So maybe they come here in the middle of winter time oh, and, that's and they just they fall. That and then they blame it on some phantom hand that pushes them, but it's really just the ice. Okay. That is possible. Yeah. It's too quiet out here, bro. I've been trying to count how many steps are here. And I keep counting like 98, including these guys here. 87, 8, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, if you count this spot. You want to count like on the way down? Sure. Okay. We should do that on our way back down. You want to explore a little bit more? Yeah, we can do that. This is so sad. Look, here's another one that has been vandalized. And that looks like it was a really beautiful stone. Yeah, this one was knocked over too. Look at that. Gosh. What do you think people deserve that vandalize headstones, graves? I guess they deserve to be under a headstone. No. <laughs> uh, I don't know, dude. That's, that's very disrespectful. Though. It is disrespectful. But you know what I'm going to say? You know what they deserve? forgiveness you know sometimes like in these small towns kids get bored they have nothing to do and they get around other kids that are bored and they get into trouble you know what i mean a couple years back i would be like oh they deserve to be haunted like their entire lives and die no I'm not not the death part obviously not dude is that a pumpkin i just noticed that look right right in front of you what is it a dead a, no it's a pumpkin oh really yeah look a little pumpkin John Weber, U.S. Army, served in World War II. So he must have came here for Halloween, maybe. Huh? Thank you, sir, for your service, John. Yes, sir. He was born December 2nd, and he passed away on Christmas Eve. And we are in December. We are. When you were here last time, how far back did you go? Uh, not this far. This one got vandalized, too. <gasps> Bro, you heard that? It's not like somebody's screaming in the woods. Can we get back here? What is that? I don't know. You want to go in the woods? Sure. Yeah? Uh, we could do that. All right, after you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they look very welcoming, huh? I could have swore I just heard something. I thought it was an animal at first, but animals usually keep moving. And this one just stopped. There's somebody behind us. You know what's crazy is I messed up and said, is there somebody behind us? And what I meant is to say, is there somebody in front of us? Well, it's kind of interesting you say that, though, because technically you said that and I hear a noise from behind us. So maybe you had it right and you didn't even know. Is there something in front of us? 
the camera getting full <laughs> yeah. for your phone. Same as usual. Well, poor James, he actually lost his uh, his batteries early on, and now he's filming with his phone. TikTok can go. Now he has to delete apps on his phone. Spotify can go. Bro, you you need a better phone, man. Bro, this is a good phone. I just it's too small. It's only you need to get something with a bigger hard drive. Yeah, I do. Like an iPhone. Here's the thing, y'all. Not every place we go to is gonna have any crazy activity. I mean, I know we're reacting to little noises here and there. Because I mean, you know, who wouldn't react? Yeah, to some creepy know. noises in the woods. Sometimes there's an explanation and sometimes there's not, but we don't know in the, in the process. I'm thinking that maybe there's some animals out here, but here's the thing, man. We love hearing stories, love hearing legends. If you've ever been here to Cloverland Cemetery, a.k.a. the 100 Step Cemetery that, I don't know, it's not 100 steps to me. Let us know here in the comments if you've experienced something. I mean, so far, it's just been a couple little noises in the woods here and there. You want to try counting the stairs or the steps again? Yeah, let's count the steps down. I want to see if it's actually 100. Okay, we're going to try this one last time. Let's count to ourselves, not out loud, and see if we get the same number. Perfect. All right. All right, I'll go after you. All right. I wonder if we have to count the first step that we're on. I did. Okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to count this one. It's like footprints what do you mean? that I just noticed. Like our footprints? No. They almost look like tar. Look. Look at that booty. Ooh Why are you looking at my booty, bro? What How many did you get? Depending if you count the bottom, I got 96 right there and 97 there. I got 97 right here, but I did get what messed up with that tar mark that was up there. Is it not really 100 or are we just like... Really I, you know what? Out? You know what I think? I'm going to tell you right now. I think what they did was they rounded off. They, they know that this isn't 100 steps, so they round it up to 100. And it messes with people with this whole legend... I'm curious. You guys are going to have to let us know, anyone that's ever been here. Yeah. We didn't get pushed. We didn't get shoved. We didn't really even see much. Didn't experience anything. I mean, we did hear some noises, but those noises are explainable. They're, you know, it's dark. There could be animals out here. So something unexpected happened right now. James was kind of like in the middle of doing like an outro, and he was giving me a shout. And I was at the edge of the gate right over there. And I'll share the, the clip with you. I think something happened. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter since we've been putting a lot of stuff up on there. And I will see you. What? What, bro? What the hell? Bro, did you fall? Bro, what the hell happened? Dude, I don't know. I think I slipped on these leaves. Oh, is there ice there? You all right? Bro, look. I just broke my camera, dude. No, bro. Oh, are you okay, though? Do you, are you hurt? I'm just worried about my camera. Bro. <laughs> I'm just worried about me right now. I don't know. Oh, sucks. You didn't get pushed though. You just slipped. Uh, I, bro, I, honestly, I don't know. Okay. I don't know if I, I. I don't think so. I think okay. I just on okay. I thought at first I ruined my camera, but I actually ruined my microphone. I would much rather ruin this. I mean, this is a $200 microphone by Sony, but my camera is three thousand dollars and i do not want to ruin my camera i'm pretty sure i slipped on these leaves james kept asking me if there's a mark on my back there is a little bit of ice down there and there's a ton of leaves from the trees so that that is a possibility but i'm not ruling out that something was probably involved in me falling i don't know you decide let me know here in the comments rest in peace microphone have to get a new one but it's all good and i am okay and safe and so is my boy james Buddy. Please, if you can, say a prayer of safety for us. I'll also say a prayer for you. If you didn't know, I do have a live streaming channel. I'm going to leave a link down below to that channel as well as my friend James's channel. He also started a live streaming channel called The Fam Live. Mine is Omar oh Gosh Live. If you want to connect with me, get to know me a little bit better, subscribe there and my vlog channel. Got to go for now before we leave. Give me a kiss. Mwah.